Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you guys how to do your crypto taxes on Binance using Coinly. So we will go over two different methods, two important methods. So the first one is syncing your Binance account with your Coinly account through the API. And then I will show you some limitations this has and how you need to import a CSV statement to get the actual full Binance transaction history into Coinly. Okay, I assume you've made a Coinly account already. Um, let's go in make a Binance account. So first we'll go to add wallet, we will go to Binance, and we will click uh, set up auto sync. And here it will ask us for a API key and API secret. In order to obtain this, we will go on the Binance website, we will log in. Once we are logged in on the Binance website, we will go to the top right corner and click API management. Here we will need to create a new API label, uh, API key label. Um, so we'll call it Coinly, I've already done this before. And then it might ask us, ask us for two factor authentication. Okay, once we've entered those codes, here is the API key. We will copy it here in the API key section. This is the a uh, secret key. We will copy it and put it here into the API secret and we will click secure import. Now, this part of the process might take a few minutes before um, the wallet is actually fully synced. While we wait, I wanna take this time and say that Coinly is not interested in touching or moving any of your funds. It is solely interested in seeing your transaction history for tax purposes. Alrighty, as you can see, my Binance wallet is synced and there is a yellow icon next to it. So Coinly has calculated these assets from the imported data uh, and they're not matching the API, uh, what the API is reporting. So you can click on it, it'll give you a little more information on what the differences are. So minor differences can be ignored. Um, if you have any large differences, it is probably due to the API limitation. So these are my differences. As you can see, some of them are relatively large and we'll, I'll show you guys how to resolve these. If you go onto the right side here and click troubleshoot, you will see some of the most common problems uh, associated um, with these issues. In order to resolve this specific problem, we will need to go back into our Binance and then we're gonna go into our uh, account or our transactions, we're gonna find those. So wallet overview, transaction history on the top right and generate all statements. So uh, I've done this a few times before, so I already have this file. Um, I've done it for other videos. Um, so if you select the year that you're doing your taxes in that entire time frame and click generate, it will create one of these uh, CSV files. For most people, this is a standard tax year and this file can take a little bit longer to generate. So be patient, it's perfectly normal. And this is what the file looks like just for your reference. I'd also like to point out that any transactions on Binance that are under the buy crypto tab or trade and convert and uh, trade P2P, these are the types of transactions which you will definitely need to do a manual CSV file import, uh, import and they won't be, um, they won't, it won't be enough to just simply do an API auto sync. If we go back to our troubleshooting page, one of the first most common issues is airdrops and forks. Um, we don't want to talk about that in this video. We'll leave that for another video. The second one is the one we're most interested in. So API does not allow access to fiat purchases, mining income, uh, and B swaps. So that's kind of what I talked about earlier. Some of the transactions on the Binance website that will not um, the API will not allow us to access. For me personally, I've done some future trading and I've also purchased um, some crypto using a, a, a credit card on Binance. So I know right away going into this that these are some of the transactions that the API uh, will not have access to. Okay, on the right side of this menu, what we wanna do to resolve this problem is click uh, delete existing transactions and we will click confirm. So you'll get a little message here at the bottom saying all the transactions uh, in this wallet have been deleted. So this is a very important step and I'd like to take a minute just to talk a bit more about it. This will delete all our transactions and allow us to actually import 
that CSV file we talked about earlier. It's important to do this because if you don't, you will have duplicate transactions um, and you don't want that. Coinly only skips duplicates imported with the same method. So future uh, CSV imports will skip duplicates, but not if you mix. So just the general breakdown, make sure to do this. Um, it's a very important step. Then what you're going to do is click import transactions from file. And this is where we will import this file that I told you guys about earlier. So we're going to just drag it here and we're going to click import and we're going to go back to our summary. So back to our wallets page. And now that icon is officially gone. Next, let's look at some Binance futures that uh, have been imported. You can do this by clicking label and clicking realized PNL. So here's one that I did for my account. Um, basically, Coinly will import the actual profit and loss from your future trades. It will also aggregate the PNL transactions. Uh, transactions. So you have um, only a few transactions per day, as opposed to potentially hundreds if you're you know trading on binance regularly so there you have it just a little bit of additional information on futures and pnls there was actually no action required from you i just wanted to make sure you guys were informed on how these things work so if you enjoyed the video consider dropping a like subscribing for more crypto related videos and i'll see you next time peace